Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate the witnesses being here. I want to uh, get a little more specific about what we could do going forward in terms of utilizing nuclear uh, technology for generating power. But before I do that, I want to get back to this issue about uh, fuel. And um, long term, if we transition to advanced uh, reactors that can recycle spent fuel rides, that could virtually eliminate reliance on any foreign uh, supply chain for enriched uranium. Uh, Dr. Alf, uh, I think you were talking about our reliance on Russia uh, for uranium. We had the director of the National Nuclear Laboratory in here, from Idaho, and he made the point that if we went to the advanced reactors and started recycling the spent fuel rods, that we could operate our, our nuclear facilities for about 100 years. So I, th I think that would address that issue, uh, not totally, but um, would address it uh, in a very significant way. Uh, Mr. Dorman, uh, you served on nuclear submarines, and, and one of the things that interests me is, is, is the safety and, and the power generation capacity of a nuclear submarine. It's about 150 to 200 megawatts. Is that about right? That sounds like the right ballpark. It's been about 30 years for me, but that sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, the thing that, that interests me most about this is that uh, they're uh, a standard design. Uh, they're modular. They can be assembled somewhere else and then be installed in, in a submarine. I don't know that we've ever had to, to replace one. We may have, but... But uh, they're designed such that, that they, they can fit pretty much any submarine that we operate. And, um, and uh, if we were to go to the small modular reactors, I think uh, by definition they can, uh, a small modular reactor can produce up to 300 megawatts of power. Is that your understanding? That, that's the range we're looking at for most of the applications we're anticipating, yes, sir. And one of the points I think it, that you raised was uh, the problem with, with fitting things into the grid. It, it's a huge problem for renewables. That's one of the reasons why there's so much interest on, across the aisle for, for building out an, a new grid. But with a small modular reactor, an SMR, you could fit that in pretty much anywhere. Uh, it, it, that's one of the advantages of, of a small, of an SMR is that it, it can be located in, in, in places where a larger nuclear reactor or renewables could not uh, to meet uh, the, the power needs of, of, of different communities. Is, is that a fair statement? Yeah, so we're, we're focused on, on the safety and less on the, on the grid compatibility piece except for the reliable power back to the plant, but, but it sounds reasonable. Well, that, that's the safety factor is one of the, the, the real assets of the SMRs is because they are a standard design, they're modular, and um, you, you even have micro-reactors that, uh, that the military is looking at using to, to power uh, military bases that could also be used in, to meet power needs in emergency situations, whether it's a post-disaster. Is that uh, a, a fair point as well? Yes. Uh, well, here's, here's part of what I think we need to be thinking about, Mr. Chairman, is that we have this emerging technology. We've got some that have been approved by uh, uh, the NRC. I think uh, there's uh, projects different places around the country, one I know in, in Utah. And this might be the way to go because these can be manufactured uh, and assembled, delivered on site in uh, locations where we can't get turbine farms, solar farms, I can't get a, a, a large nuclear reactor, and the permitting on this ought to be considerably shorter uh, duration than, than any of these other facilities that we're talking about. Uh, and I, uh, Mr. Goff, Mr. Dorman, I'd one of you come in on, on that. I, I think you hit a key principle there, Congressman, of standard design. Uh, you know, one, once we've gone through and, and, and uh, approved a design, it should be very straightforward uh, for us to do the safety review for that design in other locations. Um, that's not been the experience in this country. We have 93 diff very different reactors, uh, so the, the designs have evolved as it's come along. So I think getting a very standard design uh, would be very helpful to a streamlined process. 
I really appreciate the opportunity to, to raise these points. This is what France does with their nuclear reactors with standard design. I think it's a, a good direction for, for the United States. I yield back.